Today, Congresswoman Hillary Skolton presented a Purple Heart to the daughter of a World War I veteran on behalf of her late father, Corporal George Willis. <laughs> Willis was shot one day before the war ended in 1918. It's an experience that his daughter says changed his life. He came back home to West Michigan, raising seven kids, including Verla Thomas, who received the Purple Heart earlier in Grand Haven. Thomas tells us this wouldn't have been possible without the work of Dr. Chris Petrus. He has worked to get more than a dozen Purple Heart medals for World War I veterans. Thomas says she reached out to him last January to see if she could help with his World War I documentary. She sent him documents about her father, who he told her was eligible for a Purple Heart. Dr. Petrus then reached out to Representative Skolton's team, who then contacted the Army Awards and Decoration Branch. It was awesome. I never imagined when I turned around and saw everybody that came. Uh, I was just amazed. I mean, I expected my family, but cousins and retired Air Force and uh, military. It, it was just amazing. Um, so it's, it's amazing to be a part of that. I can only say it's a blessing. It's, a, it's incredible. Um, I never would have thought in a million years that I would be at this point. Uh, today was the uh, 20th Purple Heart Medal of a soldier that I've, that I've researched. These families, uh, military families, sacrifice so much for all of us. Uh, they're, they're sacrifices for each and every one of us. And so to be able to repay just a small portion of the gratitude that we feel for their sacrifice uh, is, is so worth it. Thomas says she's going to relish this moment before deciding a more permanent place for the Purple Heart Medal. As for Dr. Petrus, we're told that he's working on getting about 21 medals for veterans throughout West Michigan. If you're curious in learning more about this story or to see if your family member is deserving of a medal, head to this story up now at fox17online.com.